there. This is another question on the integration of parametric equations. Let's take a look at this question before we start. We have a parametric curve given here and it's given by x is t cubed plus 1 and y is equal to 2 over t. t must be bigger than 0. The shaded region is bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the lines x is 2, that's the line x is 2, and x is equal to 9. And obviously it's bounded by the x-axis here and it's bounded by the actual curve itself which is here. So this is the area we're interested in. Part A, find the area of the shaded region. Part B, show that the volume of the solid when it's rotated about 2 pi radians, which is, which would mean it's rotated 360 degrees around the x-axis, and find the Cartesian equation of the curve. Right, let's give this a go, moving on here. The area, we need to know the area of uh, under a curve given by parametric equations, is the area, uh, is the integral between t1 and t2, the t1 that makes that x possible and the t2 that makes that x possible of y in terms of t dx by dt multiplied by dt uh, or, or, or with respect to t I should say. Okay so how are we going to find t1 and t2? So for t1 what's true? x is 2 so x equals 2 so we can solve the equation 2 is equal to t cubed plus 1 therefore 1 is equal to t cubed and therefore t must be 1. And t is bigger than 0, so this sounds reasonable. OK, how are we going to find uh, t2? Well, t2, we can say, what's true at t2? Well, x is 9. So we can solve the equation 9 is equal to t cubed plus 1. Subtracting 1 of both sides, t cubed is equal to 8. And therefore, this tells us, taking cube roots, t must be 2. So we have our t1 and t2. Perfect. Also, we know that x is equal to t cubed plus 1, so dx by dt is 3t squared. Now we have everything we need to substitute into this formula here. So the area is the integral between t1, which is 1, and t2, which is 2. y given in terms of t, which is 2 over t. dx by dt, which is 3t squared, with respect to t. OK, so now we can tidy things up a little bit. This is the integral between 1 and 2. 2 over t multiplied by 3t squared. That will be 6t squared over t dt. And obviously we can simplify one of the t's cancels. So that would be simply 6t dt. Now we go ahead and integrate. Add 1 to the power and divide. We would have 3t squared between 2 and 1. And we substitute in 2 there. It would be 3 times 4, which is 12. Take away what we get when we substitute 1 in there, which would be 3. And 12 take away 3 is 9 units squared. And that is our area. OK, so uh, we have found uh, this here. Let's just, uh, before I rub it out, t is equal to 1 here and t is equal to 2 here. And we have found that that area is 9 units uh, squared. And we've also found dx by dt which we might need later, is actually 3t squared. OK, and that's the area for the five marks at the start. So I'm going to rub this out and move on to the next part. OK, next what we're going to do is I'm going to work out the volume. So the volume formula, parametrically, is, the, is pi multiplied by the integral between t1 and t2 of y in terms of t squared dx dt multiplied by dt. Okay, and we're ready to substitute in here is pi, the integral between 1 and 2, y squared, which is going to be 4 over t squared, multiplied by dx by dt, which is 3t squared with respect to t. And if we're working this out here, the t squares will cancel, and we're going to have simply pi, the integral between 1 and 2, of 12 dt. Now we integrate, that will simply be 12t between 2 and 1, and pi here. And we substitute in 2, and we substitute in uh, 1, so we're going to have 24 take away 12, which is 12, and 12 times pi 
is 12 pi units cubed. And in the question, we were asked to show it was 12 pi units cubed, and we're done. Okay, we're going to rub this out now and do the last part. Part C, it asks us to find the Cartesian equation of the curve in the form y is a function of x. Well, we know that x is equal to t cubed plus 1. We also know that y is equal to 2 over t. Okay, so can we uh, rearrange this? Well, yes, we can. Let's make t the subject of the formula so we can substitute in here. x subtract 1 is going to be equal to t cubed, and t is going to be the cube root of x subtract 1. Therefore, we can substitute in here and say that y is therefore 2 over the cube root of x take away 1, and we have it in the Cartesian form we require, and we're done.